Ladies and gentlemen, now let's meet our combatants in the first ever middleweight eliminator in the KO World Series. Out of the red corner, representing the Fairtex Gym in Thailand. Standing at 5 feet 7, weighing in at 70 kilograms. The 2005 Lumpani champion. The WBC Muay Thai super welterweight champion. With a record of 217 fights, 148 wins with 65 losses, 4 draws. 49 wins have come by KO. Please welcome Yod Sanklai, the hero Fairtex. His opponent in the blue corner from the Balmoral League Gym, standing at 5 foot 11, weighing 72 kgs. He's the former New Zealand welterweight champion, the current New Zealand super welterweight champ, New Zealand middleweight champion, South Pacific welterweight champ. A record of 28 fights for 24 wins, 4 losses, 9 wins have come by way of KO. Please give it up for your very own Shannon Slamman Foreman. This battle is scheduled for three, three minute rounds. When the bell rings, the man in charge is Terry Hill. Well, here we go, Lightning Mike. This is truly a legend now in one yard. Uh, St. Clyde Fairtex, he has twice as uh, many knockouts as Shannon Foreman has fights. And when you look up legend in the dictionary, I'm pretty sure there's a picture of Yod weighed down by all of his championship belts. Look, I've seen Yod St. Clyde take apart world-class fighter after world-class fighter. Watched him fight John Wayne Parr last year where he uh, took the uh, WBC Muay Thai Super Welterweight Championship and really he was just too classy for John Wayne Parr who is a legend of the game. Slam and Shannon Foreman, this is a real life Rocky story. This is life imitating art ladies and gentlemen. Shannon Foreman is a good regional fighter, a very respectable uh, record with 24 wins, 4 losses, 28 fights in total. But I'll tell you what, he is going up against a juggernaut in the game. Now notice straight away, Yotsan Klai is a southpaw, so he's standing opposite to your conventional fighter. The left hand, the power hand, and the left kick there, which we will see him use to effect. He has got a power pole left straight, which he throws a lot to the body. And there, Shannon Foreman just uh, pitter patting a little bit, went with the uppercut, caught the leg. Referee Terry Hill coming in and breaking. Notice him shifting away from the power hand there. Bork right hand there where he faked the right kick. Oh, nasty one to the ribs, and then followed up with the left kick. Left hand, rather. Shannon Foreman needs to keep him busy. He can't let this man set up on him. And there's that famous body shot of his. Saw him take care of the French fighter Val Loom. A legendary French fighter Val Loom. Dropped him with that left hand, stiff left hand to the body. Shannon Foreman going downstairs with the right hand of his own, then coming upstairs. Just got tagged by the right hook as well. And uh, you'll see Yotsung Clyde just measuring his man at this point. Backing him up against the ropes, waiting for that mistake. It's just unbelievable. Shannon Forming has gone from relative obscurity on the world stage, catapulted and beamed around the world, fighting one of the best pound-for-pound -pound kickboxers on the planet. And that is going to say something about his heart. Yeah, you can just sense the difference in power of these two. He really is a pocket rocket. Now he's starting to find his mark with that left hand. Shannon Foreman drifting into the left again. And nice little body shot, but followed it up with the right hook. And people people underestimate his right hook because he is a southpaw. And he so, hits so hard with the left hand. But often it's the right hook that catches his opponents. After they've been weakened by the left hand, Shannon Foreman, again, pitter patting. Just got to be careful. Needs to continue to drift away there. Just needs to vary his rhythm a little bit as well. He's, he's just pitter patting there, working away on the front leg. Now but he is taking some severe damage to those ribs. Yep. Like to see him just throw the right hand down the tubes every now and then to put his man off from that powerhouse, pile driving middle section left kick of his. Yod the legend, let's just say he's got the red hair. Shannon Foreman is he's got the darker hair and well. Yeah, he's setting him up for the heat kick too. And yep. left hand there. Nice straight left hand. Shannon Foreman felt that. Now he's moving into the left kick. But he's answering back every time he's struck. A very f brave fight from Shannon Foreman. Right hook just whisking over his shoulder, tying his man up. Interesting to see Yod didn't go for the grapple. Well, the fantasy odd makers have Shannon Foreman as a 26 to 1 underdog in this match. And I'll tell you what, if he goes to three rounds against Yard, that, that alone. Well, the 
bell will be came. in feet. Yeah, that bell came at the right time for Shannon Foreman. Caught up in the corner, nowhere to go. The left hands were starting to flail. He got nailed a couple of times. Although Shannon Foreman was certainly the busier of the two fighter, Yod just measured his man and clearly took that round. Yod, only 22 years old, has 217 professional fights. That well, to me is amazing, Lightning Well, by Mike. comparison, when you talk about Shannon Foreman, 28 fights, yep. you're talking about a guy who has almost had 10 times as many fights. Shannon Foreman, very brave throughout this round, countering back, but Yod Sankhlai, and there's the end of the round. Just nailed him in the corner as we head into our second round. Well, the butterflies must be gone now. Shannon Foreman knows where he's at, knows what he has to do. Lost that first round, I'd say probably 10-9, but at the end of the day, he's still standing in his corner, ready to come out for the second round. Well, just to give you an, an idea of things, uh, John Wayne Power was dropped in the first round by a head kick, so uh, Shannon Foreman not doing too badly. But uh, ties do traditionally start quite slowly. They measure their man. Look to see him just pick up the pace a little more in this round, and again, he's got Shannon, corner, Shannon Foreman backed into the corner. The slam man, nice low left kick to the back leg, and those ones can really do some damage. Now he's starting to feel it. He's second phasing two off the left kick, coming over the top with a right hook. And you just look at Yard's legs, and they are just massive compared to Shannon Foreman's. He is in real good shape. Head kick coming. He'll look low and go high with the head kick. Shannon Foreman needs to keep that right hand glued to the side of his face. Continue to drift away as well. Yod thinks he's found his man. Oh, that nice left, left hand just so fast, so powerful. And he's got his man backing up now. Shannon oh. Foreman taking repeated shots. Shannon and he's Foreman coming back. back. Showing some heart there, Shannon Foreman. The he's man it. talking to him. Telling him, is that all you got? And he's saying, here's a bit more. Just when you think Shannon Foreman is in a world of hurt, he spins it around. And Yod Fairtex must be thinking, what have I got to do to put this guy down? Well, that's his first test. He didn't crumple under pressure. Yod Klein knows he has some work to do, although he is finding his mark with that lead kick. It's dropping Shannon Foreman's head and hands quite badly. I mean, geez, had a 26-1 to 1 underdog, Lady Mike. Oh, Shannon Foreman has nothing to lose and everything to gain. Well, here we go. That leg is going. Shannon Foreman needs to get busy with his hands and hope for something here. He's just covering up. Yod Sunclay going to work now. He's found a high oh, right uppercut, just misses the mark. Needs to hook his left hand a little bit off that. Man. Legs taking a battering. Those legs are taking a beating at the moment. There's another one. Here comes the head kick. Oh, uh, right over our commentary position here, and Yard Fairtax is just doing the number right now on Shannon Foreman. A bit of, bit of sportsmanship, to be honest. He let his man off. He's just taken him apart. Legitimate eight-count punishment on that back leg. Too much for Shannon Foreman. Not really sure if he could put pressure on that leg, but it is definitely hurting. And there is the referee cam once again. And we've it's... seen the towel come in. Lolo Haimuli saved his boy from more punishment. A huge step up in class. Yodson Klai, when he decided to step up, probably only into second gear, was too much for Shannon Foreman. Nevertheless, a brave, brave fighting performance from the slam man. Absolutely take nothing away from Shannon Foreman. He has the heart of a lion. And, well... You had Fairtex there just showing his skills and showing his experience and professionalism. Well, he's saluting some of his Thai fans in the crowd. He really, once he found a home for the left leg down low, it set up the hands. And this was where Shannon Foreman fought back his first true test in international international class kickboxing he fought back with true heart Yon St. Clay didn't have it all his own way but shortly after that that leg gave away and the slam man had nowhere to go but the canvas another fantastic bout here uh, and there he is and the towel went in good decision from Lolo Hamilton Ladies and gentlemen, we have a result in the first ever KO World Series middleweight eliminator here at the Telstra Clear Pacific Arena. Referee Terry Hill stopped the fight two minutes and ten seconds into the second row. And a victory to the red corner by TKO. Yard the hero, Fairtex. Now we will talk to uh, Yod through an interpreter. Uh